everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for coming back. If you want to see how I created this updated glam, then keep on watching. So to start today, I'm going to be taking the Krylon TV Paint Stick over moisturized skin. I'm then taking a beauty sponge to blend it all out. So now, to highlight, I'm going to be using Ben Nye's Clown White on a small concealer brush. And then using the same beauty sponge to blend it all out. To contour today, I'm taking a brown shade from the Eye Magic Flash palette on a small narrow brush and mapping out the contour areas. Now to blend everything out with a beauty sponge. For the nose contour, I'm going to be taking a smaller sponge to blend it out. To reinforce the nose highlight, I'm taking the Krylon TV Paint Stick in shade 070 on a small concealer brush down the center of the nose. To blend that out, I'm using my middle finger. To bring the nose in even further, I'm taking more of the white shade on a small sponge and bringing it up to the edge of the nose contour. To accentuate the contours a little more, I'm taking a little bit of a highlight shade just underneath the contour and blending that out to create a highlight. To set all of this, I'm taking the Cody Airspun Powder in Full Coverage Translucent on a powder puff and puffing that into the skin. Since this translucent powder has a little bit of pigment to it, it's important to powder the contour areas first, working your way in towards the highlight areas, therefore you won't dim down the highlights. Now to deepen the contours, I'm powder contouring with a brown eyeshadow from the Morphe 35C palette on a contour brush. For the nose contour, I'm taking the same powder, just on a smaller fluffy brush. Yeah. 
So now to start off the eyes, I'm going to be carving out the brow bone with the white Krylon TV paint stick and the small concealer brush I use to highlight. So now that we've laid down a base for the brows, I'm going to be taking my cream contour color on a small angled brush to sketch in the brow. Now to set the brows I've drawn, I'm taking a small fluffy brush and my contour color to set the brow. I left the area of the front of the brow blank, that way I could take this brush and feather the product out to make an ombre brow. Now that the brows are set, I'm taking more of the white underneath to clean up the brow. Now to blend all this out, I'm using my middle finger. To set the brow bone highlight, I'm taking a white eyeshadow from Sugar Pill on a packer brush and packing it under the brow. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be doing a black smoky eye, and to start that out, I'm going to be blending a light grey shade into the crease. To create a sharp line angling the eyes up, I'm going to be taking a paper card and placing that and shading over it. Going a shade deeper in grey, I'm repeating the same process. Now to repeat these same steps for the opposite eye. To deepen the crease even further, I'm using my nose contour brush and a black eyeshadow from Sugar Pill to really deepen the crease. I'm then using my card to wing out the black. To use as a base on the lid for the black eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the black shade from the Eye Magic Flash Palette on a small fluffy brush and packing that on the eye. To set and blend the cream more, I'm taking more of the black eyeshadow on the packer brush and blending it out. To start the under eye, I'm first lining my waterline with the black cream eyeliner. I'm then taking a fluffy brush to run a light grade shade under the eye to mimic what we did on the top. To deepen the under eye further, I'm taking a tiny pencil brush and running that closer to the lash line. Bring that under eye to its full opacity of black. I'm taking the same sugar pill eyeshadow on the same pencil brush and lining the lash line. Now to add some finishing touches to the upper eye. I'm taking some NYX setting spray spraying a packing brush and sprinkling glitter on it to pack glitter onto the lid. <laughs> so 
So off camera, I removed some of the glitter from my face, and now I'm taking a wet pencil brush and some highlight powder to highlight the inner corner of the eye. Now for blush, I'm taking a tart blush on a blush brush and adding some color to the cheek. Now to highlight the skin, I'm taking Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Ice Cold on a blush brush and highlighting the high points of the face. To highlight the tip of the nose, I'm actually taking a sponge eyeshadow applicator and the same highlight and highlighting the tip. To highlight the bridge of the nose, I'm taking the same pencil brush I used for the inner corner and lightly dusting on highlight. To add a little something extra to the face highlight, I'm taking Martha Stewart Glitter in shade Crystal on my two fingers and patting that on my cheekbones. For lips today, I'm taking Bite Beauty's Matte Cream Lip Crown in the shade Glacé over the lips. To highlight the center of the lips, I'm taking some of the Krylon TV Paint Stick in shade 070 on my finger and dabbing that in the center to highlight. All there's left to do now is put on lashes and get into the full gig and I'll be back.